Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, troops, Legionnaires, new recruits. It is Fleet Week here in New York on Long Island, so you might be hearing some helicopters uh, landing and taking off. It's gonna be loud. There's people coming into this park, this part of the park. I found myself a nice little corner and I wanted to show you this awesome gift fit for an emperor okay and uh i mean fit for a general man you know and this lonely old centurion i mean got the gift of a lifetime and i want to first shout out gabriel at the last huntsman outdoors thank you very much for such a wonderful gift i am humble dude i am humble this is an amazing gift all right so we are looking at the tops field craft the bob uh, Brothers of Bushcraft. This particular model is in 154 cm. This is on their website. This is almost like $400, man. It's $355. That's insane. Um, let me know what you all are carrying in your pockets today. I am carrying my Lengren Tonto folder. Yeah, buddy. Let me know what you all are carrying. I would appreciate it, man. Okay, let's go over some quick specs. And again, I apologize for all the noise. Let's go over the quick specs, okay? It is a Topps Bob in 154 cm. One of these knives I've always wanted, but I've just put it on the list. You know, it's not at the top of the list of the knives that were next to buy, but just somewhere in the list that eventually I was gonna get. So we're looking at an overall length of 10 inches, blade length 4.75 inches with a cutting edge of 4.50 inch. Uh, blade thickness is 0 0.190 inch. Blade steel is 154 cm with a Rockwell of 58 to 60 cryo treated. The blade finish is tumble finish. The knife weight is 10.5 ounces. Weight with the sheath is 14 ounces. Uh, this did come with a sheath. Um, it did not have a clip, I don't care. You know, I am just happy that I got this knife. I could always purchase another one. So no no worries, Gabriel. <laughs> uh, the sheath is a black Kydex, but it's it, the clip that comes with it is a rotating spring steel, and the designer is Brothers of Bushcraft. So hopefully I got those specs right. Uh, I have a feeling I got the blade length wrong, which is 4.75 inch. If, if I got it right, well, you're hearing it twice, no big deal. Let me put this down and let's take a look at this awesome knife. All right, cool. Now, when I opened it up, I was like, holy cow, how hefty this is, man. This is a weighty blade, a weighty blade. You know, this has got to be made for some serious outdoor use. I mean, maybe it's considered a survival knife, man. I know it's a bushcraft knife, but it is so thick. I mean, look at that. That's insane. That is pretty awesome. Nice stout blade. This is a Scandi grind, but I'm not sure. There's a secondary bevel here. I'm not sure if that's done on purpose or um, this is because of the skills of Peter Built Knife Guy. So shout out to Peter Built Knife Guy. I am not sure because I know Peter Built Knife Guy is a master at sharpening things. So I'm not sure if he did this, he didn't like the Scandi grind. I, I'm not sure, you know, I'm just guessing. I don't know if Gabriel did this at uh, Huntsman Outdoors or if it's just normally, you know, shipped this way from, from tops with a secondary bevel. But you have this Scandi air. You know what, it's not even Scandi, I'd be quite honest with you. This feels like, I mean, as I'm gliding my fingers on both sides, it almost feels like a, hollow grind a slight slight hollow grind do you see that do you see that it feels like a slight let me see if i can get it in, the, in the light it feels like a slight hollow grind so once again i'm not sure if this was meant to be that way no, no matter what man this is an awesome blade i was testing this out you know at the uh at the uh, at the legion outpost man and this thing is just wicked 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 man 
pretty nice. So it has this small sharpening trail, adequate enough. It has this little guard over here. It has jimping, as you can see how thick that spine is. And the jimping is aggressive, but it's not gonna hurt your finger. Now I'm applying some pressure, it's good. Um, me personally, I would use this as a hunting knife. It, it's sharp enough to be used as a hunting knife. Uh, definitely a survival knife, I think. I mean, I know it's not long enough, but it's thick enough that I'm sure it can handle a beating and even some prying abuse. I I'm sure this knife can handle some abuse. You know, uh, shout out to Joe X. I I'm not even sure if Joe X even tested something like this out from Tops. Um, it would be interesting to see how this held up. So I gotta look, uh, you know, after this, I'll probably look and see if Joe X did a, a video on the Tops Bob. But man, look at that. Look how thick that is. So, you know, normal use, even in a survival situation, in the normal use, I guarantee that this knife is gonna come through with some serious flying colors, man. Something I've never used is the, uh, you know, it has a divot for, um, I guess, a bow drill. Gives you that option. It has some nice, you know, thumb grooves over here. I guess if you want to, you know, put your fingers here, pinch, pinch the fingers and do some skinning maybe or some finer cutting. There's a, you know, you have this option. Uh, beautiful scales. I think, I'm not sure with this, this over here, but they've got these screws, which I like. So these are removable. I wonder if this comes off um, without a problem. I don't know. Maybe somebody does. You can put it in the comment section, okay? Beautiful protruding tang. Please tell me what this is. I, there, I'm sure that there's a reason. It's not sharp. So I'm not sure w what this is about. But if somebody knows, please tell me. Uh, and I added this lanyard. It feels really nice in the hand. It feels really nice in the hand, you know. Perfect. It's it's perfect in the hand. There's so many so many knives out there that have great handles, great designs. Um, another one on my list is the Brockimo. I want to get that one eventually. So, yeah. So far, no matter how I hold it, you know, very comfortable. No hot spots. No nothing. Uh, in honor of Gabriel and the last, I mean the uh, last husband outdoors, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this through its paces when the time comes, and um, let's take a look at the sheath. So here we go. Here's the sheath. It's a nice Kydex sheath, taco style. Got eyelet eyelet holes, a bit of a drainage hole right there. Right, it's a little just open towards the end of the Kydex sheath. Uh, I wish they had the slots over here. I don't care how small they would be. You know, you could put a pouch over here, um, you know, make it a little bit more versatile. Now, I, there is that metal clip and it rotates. I have a uh, Topps tracker and I, I know exactly what the clip looks like. And it rotates. This didn't come with it. Again, I don't care. This is a, you know, gift fit, fit for the general, man. Awesome. Just, just really awesome. Adequate sheath. Let's pop it in. It snaps in there pretty good. It's got... It's got a little rattle, but I don't think you would, you know, take, you know, the military people would take this into combat, but you never know. It's got a little bit of a rattle, I am sure, with a clamp and a heat gun. This will take care of that rattle. There you go, man. There's the, there's the package right there. So very nice, very sleek. And uh, I think anybody would be proud to, proud to own this. And, uh, you know, for some of you, the best part is it's made in America, man. Made in the USA. Where is it? There we go. Made in the USA. I know so many people appreciate that. And uh, and so do I, believe it or not. All right, Troops, Legionnaires, new recruits. Once again, I want to shout out Gabriel of the Last Huntsman Outdoors. Thank you so much for this gift. Fit for a general, man. Fit for a general. Thank you so much. I want to bring awareness to everybody, hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans in active military that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, check out the comment section, check out the description section. I'm going to leave phone numbers there, okay? Please call those phone numbers. Uh, there will be websites. Check out those websites. Um, Let's reflect on Memorial Day weekend, okay? Because it's more than just, you know, eating hot dogs and hamburgers and drinking beer. It's, uh, it's honoring our fallen heroes. 
and you know what we might as well acknowledge those that are here with us and thriving troops i hope you enjoyed this man and uh i know i didn't do any kind of test with uh with a piece of wood believe me this thing is sharp as hell but i'm gonna put it through its paces when the time comes at the ready troops hold the line enjoy your memorial day weekend god bless